Welcome back. Look who's here. Unfortunately, no. Okay, now this is a nice sweater. Why? Like, why didn't I just leave them out there? Anyway, I got two pairs. Pick up your paper. Yes. Get out of here. Hi. Welcome to my super random candle wax haul. Let's just call this a wax haul because that's really what it is because this is just an assortment of random shit. Um, first things first, I went to Walmart. Why? Like, why do I keep going there? I have, God, like, I keep going to these stores I don't shop at to find candles and I look like such a weirdo. Like, everyone's in there with their carts getting all their stuff and I just kind of popped into Walmart on Monday because I really want to try their fall candles. I really want to find them and I can't and that's upsetting. So, I went there. They didn't have any. Actually, they had the same crappy display that they had the last time I was there, which was like a couple shit clearance ones. You know, you need to chew that over there. Bitch, please which was a couple clearance ones and it was the same ones and they were just crap, they were done. So, it's like a supermarket and superstore and like, I always like, sometimes I do go to supermarkets like to find a specific thing and if it's not there, I like, walk out empty handed and I feel like there is nothing weirder or creepier here than walking into a supermarket, buying nothing and walking out. So I didn't want to do that at Walmart. Um, I just didn't, I felt weird. It was a Monday afternoon, it was like four o'clock, the place was so crowded. And I kind of like stood out enough as a weirdo for not even having a cart. I don't know, like maybe I'm self-conscious, maybe it's just me, I don't know. So I had to buy something. So first of all, I did need lighters for my candles, like the long ones. I've just been using like my little like itty bitty Bic lighter, which is a joke and I'm just been like burning my fingers off. So I bought the like long lighters and I just like bought three of those, so four, I don't remember. So. I got some wax melts. First of all, I got this one, which is banana bread pudding. And I got this because, well, for two reasons. So I watch, um, because I sense so your channel, who I, I think you are the absolute cutest thing ever. I love you. I love watching your videos. You're so sweet. You have such a nice, soothing voice. And I, I hope that doesn't sound creepy, but I just, I love listening to you talk. I feel like you have such a great grasp on sense and you find really good deals and I just, I like your taste. I like your taste in scents and candles. So yeah. Um, and she's the reason why I was kind of intrigued by these Better Homes and Gardens wax melts because I see her talk about them on her empties videos and she's always raving about them. I have yet to see one where she's like knocked them. She's usually like they're strong, they're powerful, they're great for two bucks. You can't go wrong. So I'm like, all right, let's see let's see how they do so I love my warmer I love melting wax um, I typically buy my wax on Etsy and that's only because they're all handmade they have really adorable shapes and I find them to last longer than like the Yankee wax tarts or wax melts they have glitter in them which done and they're just cute they're strong they're cute they're gorgeous and they're cheap too. I mean, it's the same price. You can get like one big size one. Like I have two that are shaped like little pigs that I got for a dollar. Um, I have a haul on that, which will be, I don't know what he's chewing, but it's making me nervous. I have a haul on those, which I'll show so you can see how adorable they are. So those are the wax melts I usually burn instead of buying these because I just, for the same price and they're so cute. The only thing is like Etsy shipping takes a little bit of a long time. Typically like when I order from Etsy, I don't get my stuff for like two or three weeks, like at minimum. So that's the only downside. So I'm like, all right, like if these are good, if these are something I can get like in between my Etsy orders, great. So Better Homes and Gardens, like I said, banana bread pudding. Um, got the wax tarts because of because I sent so, and I got this flavor thanks to Instagram because I've seen a lot of people raving about this, and a lot of people have compared it to banana nutmeg bread pudding from Bath and Body Works, which I do love. I have one of, um, but I'm not as crazy about it as some people are. It was like almost a little too much for me. Like how when people say summer boardwalk is too much for them, like I can't like that, I can't keep it on. Like that's kind of how I felt about banana nutmeg bread from Bath and Body Works. Like it was like mm, a little too much. So, and I love, 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 love banana scents. So what I've heard is that this smells really banana-y and more fresh, like real banana more so than um, that candle, which is more of the bakery note. And they're so right, at least on cold. This smells like a fresh sliced banana mixed with, like if you took that jello banana pudding like almost that like candied like sort of fake banana it's like a mix of the two 
There's not much spice to this at all. It smells like exactly what that picture looks like. You get the pudding, the fresh bananas, and that like creamy vanilla that like a vanilla wafer box smells like. So that's all I get from this. Fresh banana, very minimal bakery scent, just like a vanilla wafer would have. Like it's a little bit faint. It's not like so like decadently sweet. That's exactly what this smells like. Like if you just shoved your face in a bowl of banana pudding, which I would love to do right this second, that's what this smells like. Oh my God. We're going to California in a couple months. So my sad sorry ass is dieting and it is miserable. If anyone else out there is dieting, like leave me a comment, commiserate, like tell me how sad and hungry you are and how all you want to do is just like stay home and sit on the couch alone, like eating a box of Cheez-Its. Cause that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat a Greek yogurt and egg whites and cry into them. Not dramatic at all. So banana bread pudding, love. Second one I got is farm apple pumpkin. And that's because, I don't know, I said this in my, um, one of my other Bath and Body Works haul. Um, I'm having a moment. I am having a moment with pumpkin and apple. I typically do not buy apple scents. I really don't and that's only because my husband's favorite like dessert favorite thing ever is like apple crisp, apple crisp, apple pie, apple anything. He loves apples. We go apple picking every year. We hoard apples. So in the fall, my house pretty much smells like apples naturally. Like I don't need any wax. I don't need anything helping that apple scent. I have plenty of it. So I guess that's probably why I've never been like an apple candle, apple wax girl. But for whatever reason, like probably because it's the summer and the apples haven't come out yet and we haven't been apple picking, I'm like obsessed with it. So we'll see what happens. I may end up totally regretting this when Dan buys 18 pounds of apples at the farm this fall and bakes a freaking apple crisp like every night and my house reeks of apples and all I have to burn and melt are apple scents and I'm just like Whoa. but it's apple pumpkin it's a little different and it smells like apple cider like I really don't get pumpkin at all like maybe like if you stuck like if you like did some pumpkin spice into like hot apple cider like almost like mold cider maybe a little bit like that very faint like in the background you get that like um pumpkin spice type of scent like that all spice and cinnamon mostly it hits you with the apple i'm not complaining though i like it i'm like really feeling the apple right now so i'm all about that all right next i went to kohl's which is weird i this is, I think, the second time in my life I've ever set foot in a Kohl's. There's one right by my apartment, but every time I've gone in, this is my thing with Kohl's. I feel like it's poor quality clothes or like cheap quality stuff. Like, you know, it's like almost like that discount type of thing. But the prices don't match the quality. Like, listen, I am not, I don't care about spending a lot on something. It's a quality item. Like. I will invest in something if it's like super expensive, like if it's gonna last me a long time, like a winter jacket, like a really great pair of jeans. I don't mind throwing down some cash for that, but like if I go into a Kohl's and I see a cute zip up that I plan on wearing to like the gym and it's $34.99, girl, no. At that price, like, I'll just go to Lululemon with my trainer discount and spend, like, 20 bucks more for a Lulu zip-up that's way better quality and will last me for years. So that's my pet peeve with Kohl's, and that's why I never go in there. Shiver from, like, Target, I feel like Target is, like, a little bit more moderately priced, especially for what the stuff is. It's, like, you get your money's worth from it. Um, but from what I'm seeing with all these Kohl's videos and hauls is a lot of you guys have really outstanding coupons, Kohl's cards, Kohl's cash, all of that, which negates everything I just bitched about because apparently having all those coupons and everything really brings the price down and brings it to exactly what I'm expecting the price to be. But I don't shop there enough and I'm not crazy enough about their stuff that I would sign up for the card or get any of that. So like a one-time thing and then I watched Sean from Hearth and Soul again another great reviewer here on YouTube um, and he did a really great review on one of these Kohl's Sonoma candles um, I forgot which one though Autumn Harvest I think Autumn Hayride and he said that the scent throw was negligible and fortunately I watched that this morning before I stopped by Kohl's so that's what stopped me from buying more than one 
10 bucks and I was like, whatever, $10 done. So I just want to try it. There was one there that was called Harvest Moon. And that is an identical dupe to my favorite, favorite, favorite candle ever, Marshmallow Fireside by Bath & Body Works. So if you're in Kohl's and you see Harvest Moon and it's a gray candle, it 100% is Marshmallow Fireside. But on Cold Sniff, it was really weak. Like Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside, you open that candle and it just like whacks you in the face with marshmallow goodness and that like toasty note. Whereas this Kohl's one, well, it had the exact same smell. It was just a watered down version. And if I can tell it's watered down on cold sniff, no, I'm not gonna buy it. So if I was gonna buy two, those were the two I was gonna buy. And I had it in my hand and it was like, I got to the register and I was like, this is gonna disappoint me. Put it down. So I got pumpkin patch. And that's because I don't have any like pure pumpkin. Like I was gonna get pumpkin spice, but this just smells a little bit different, a little better, a little stronger. And the other thing that sold me was, uh, it's layered. Like, it has three layers in beautiful fall colors. Really pretty. They had another one that was called Falling Leaves, and it was also layered. So then I was like, between this one and that one, and leaves was an exact dupe for Bath & Body Works leaves. Um, but I would rather just for, you know, if I can get it for $12, $2 more than these Sonoma... Sonoma Life and Style candles from Kohl's for $2 more. I'll just get the real leaves from Bath & Body Works. I would rather get the real leaves from there than get the dupe leaves and be disappointed if the throw is not what I expect and not what I want. So I got this because it's a different scent. It doesn't smell much like anything else I smell at Bath & Body Works. It's like a perfumey pumpkin. And it's literally, it's a perfumey pumpkin. It's got like some kind of like sweet, like soapy, like a scented soap type of perfume. And pumpkin spice. I'm like, it's nice. I mean, it's good enough to try. The notes say, pumpkin patch. Brown sugar crusted autumn pumpkin dusted with aromatic allspice, sweet nutmeg, grated ginger, becomes sweeter with pure vanilla essence. So it's probably the vanilla that I'm saying that smells perfumey. Because like I say, I wear vanilla perfume. So, and then now that I read that, I am kind of picking up on the ginger. So... It's got that like tart sweetness and like I said, it's a little bit different than any other pumpkin I've ever smelled and that's why I was like, all right, I'll spend $10 on you. Not and the pretty tri-colored wax. So, and then also, hello. <laughs> that is freaking adorable. Okay, that <laughs> is so cute. I love it. Like one standalone adorable little swirly leaf pumpkin in this bronze gold, almost like a rose gold, I love this. Can't wait to use this as a coaster. It is so freaking cute. I love this lid so much. Um, I don't think it's going to be the same size as like a Bath & Body Works candle. If I have another candle the same size, I will pop this baby like right onto another one because it is so cute. It's really cute. Um, so yeah, it's really, I was sold on the packaging. Slightly a different scent. I was kind of going in smelling all of them, so it smells way different right now than it did in the store because my nose was in every single candle so they I guess they all started to smell the same um we'll see I'll burn it I will most certainly do a review everyone is reviewing them already guys I'm just trying so hard I want to review it for you but like I really want to wait till at least September to start burning my fall candles I don't know like I love the summer so much I do love fall but like I don't want to rush summer so yeah pumpkin patch it's a normal life and style undecided we shall see Next, because it was right across the street from the supermarket, not across the street, like across the parking lot, from the supermarket I was at today, I was doing some grocery shopping, um, and that was Burlington Coat Factory, another store I never go into, but people have been saying that they have Goose Creek candles there, and I really adore Goose Creek, so I'm like, nah, all right, let me check it out. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning, there was no one in there, so I'm like, whatever, I'll go in, I'll check it out, I'll see what's happening there. They actually do have a really freaking good candle selection. I mean, I want to see how these burn first and see if I love them before I would ever go back there and buy more candles. But from first time, yeah, they had a pretty good selection. I was impressed. I was expecting nothing. And this was way more than what I was expecting. So I like being like um, exceeding my expectations, which is what Burlington did. So I was happy about that. Um, I didn't like any of the Goose Creek scents they had. They were kind of in the middle, like 
kind of trying to phase out their summer candles but they didn't really have many fall candles and they just had like a bunch of Yankee pumpkin pie candles so I was like whatever I'll pass because the Yankees weren't even really that strong um, so yeah it was fine um, they had some really cute fall decorations some of them were a little too chintzy for me um, so I don't know it's like I may go back there see if they have better candles like if these burn good maybe I'll go back check out the candles again but that's really it everything else they had as far as like the homeware the decorations I prefer home goods, Marshalls, so that's just me. All right, so the first one I got, and I was drawn to this almost immediately because are these not the candles they have at Target? I'm pretty sure they are. The soy candles that Target sells, which I quite love. Um, I have the sponge sugar. That's actually the only one I have. My foot's falling asleep. Mm. That's the only one I have is that sponge sugar, but... That performed really well for me. I loved it. I burned it in the spring. I burned it with Bath & Body Works Happy Easter Candle, and that was a great little candle. So, And Target's candles almost never go on sale, and if they do, I think the most they ever go on sale for is, like, still 10 bucks. Which, I mean, it's fine. I just bought a candle for $10. I don't know why. It's like, I can't really bring myself to spend that much on the candles at Target, um... Unless like that sweet sponge sugar, which I really loved. And I only got that because that time I went shopping and bought that one, I had um, I had to return something. So I had like cash because it was just going to be like a store exchange. They weren't going to give me money back. So that was why I bought that one. So I was like, okay, like Target candle. I like these guys. The sponge sugar burnt great for me. Soy candle, maybe it'll be a little less soot. I've heard they burn cleaner, so we shall see. And this, it's the price that sold me. $3.99. I mean, you can't beat that for candles that are at Target and don't go cheaper than 10 This is in Crackling Woods, and it is straight up campfire, burning wood, smoke scent. Um, if you smell the Diptyque, I think it's Fireside Candle, it's the only gray one that they have. This is similar to that, whereas that one's like straight up smoke. This is the same thing here. It's almost exactly like that. I think the diptyque is like a little sweeter. This doesn't have any sweetness to it. This is straight up like burnt wood, crackling wood, fire, smoke, and that's it. It's a straight up smoky scent. I wouldn't even, I would never compare this to marshmallow fireside. There's no marshmallow, there's no sweetness, there's zero vanilla in this. It is just straight up smoke. But I really like it. Um, I like this kind of scent and like this is something that I just adore in the fall. I think I've said talking about Marshmallow Fireside that the smoky scent reminds me of the haunted houses I used to go to as a kid with my parents and my sister and our friends. We used to go up to um, in upstate New York. It's called Tuxedo Park and it's like a giant forest. They have the Renaissance Fair there and they have this awesome, insane haunted forest. Actually, I want to go this year. Who wants to come with me? <laughs> it's really fun and there's always like some kind of bonfire going. There's always like a smoky smell. Maybe it's like that. And like almost, you know that like plastic Halloween mask smell? That's what this reminds me of. Like you have that like kind of like plastic burning Halloween mask and like bonfire type of smell. Really weird description, but it's nostalgic to me. Makes me happy. And what I figured in the store was I was like, you know, this would be really nice on like a chilly October night. Like I may even burn this on Halloween, like the night before Halloween, Halloween night. I feel like this would be a really nice candle. Um, it'd be great if I was having a Halloween party. I would be burning this, having people over in costumes, drinking, having a good time. Um, it's really nice though. And then I figured if I ever do want that kind of marshmallow fireside sweetness to it, all I have to do is burn this alongside a strong ass vanilla candle. And there you go. You would get that exact same kind of combo as Marshmallow Fireside. So I guess that's why I'm not afraid of the smokiness. I feel like I can mix it up with some other candles and it'll be really nice. But I just, I love the smell anyway. Although I do kind of feel like I'll have this burning one day and Dan will come home and be like, what's burning? Like, what did you ruin? What did you destroy? But no, I think it's really nice. I like it. I'm excited to burn it. I'll let you know how it goes. Um... Like I said, the sweet sponge sugar one I had, that was a pretty strong thrower. So I'm hoping that that one can compare. So this is the last one. This is the last thing. It was a random haul. Um, and this I was really excited about. Um, this was at Burlington. And this was, again, cheap, 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 $2.99. Why was I so excited about this candle? Because this is a freaking anthropology candle. Um, 
and I love those candles. If you've ever been to Anthropology and you see these ceramic jars with the metal lids, they have them everywhere. They have them in this size and in Anthropology, I believe these go for 12 or 15 bucks, which is crazy. Um, I mean, no, it's, if it's like a good candle, but like, I never thought it was crazy when I would go there and the bigger ones are like 20 or 30 and they're like the big bowl candles. And I'm like, I know Anthropology is overpriced. I know. You can get good sales there. Like, I know they're up there. Um, but the candles, I'm like, they sell Veluspa and they don't up the price of Veluspa. Like, it's, if a Veluspa candle is $30, like at the Veluspa store or Nordstrom, it's 30 bucks at Anthropology. They don't hike that number. So that's why I always figured with these candles, like, that's just the price. Like, similar to a Diptyque, a Veluspa, like, you're not going to get it anywhere else for any cheaper. Like, if that's what they sell it there for, that's what it is. So I was pretty shocked when I saw this at Burlington because I was like, oh my god, they do. They sell it somewhere else for cheaper. So I'm never buying these things from Anthropology ever again. And these are always, like, in the kitchenware section because they're almost always food scented. I've never seen them in anything, like, floral or fresh or anything other than food. Um, but they smell really good. They're really strong. I've had both the coffee candle in this and the angel food cake candle, both from Anthropology. both apparently I spent way too much money on, and they burn great. So I'm hoping that this is the same. This isn't like a throwaway or a dupe that Anthro was like, here you go, take it. Um, I hope it's like the same quality, the same scent throw. And this is Coconut Macaroon. The company is called Belangerie. I don't know. It's six ounces, and this just smells divine. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. White wax. It's such a creamy coconut, and you do get that little bit of almond from the macaron. Mm. And I'm just, I'm gonna burn this immediately. I mean, this is a summer scent to me. This is nice. It's, it's got vanilla too. Coconut, vanilla, almond, a little bit of everything. Um, there is no scent description. It says, burns up to 40 hours. For a six ounce candle, I feel like that's not bad, right? What does this one say? This one is 15.2 ounces, so that's more than a Bath and Body Works, and this burns 50 hours. So this has a burn time of 50 hours, this has a burn time of 40. Six ounces, 15.2, it's half the size, less than, I don't know, um, less than half. And this has a 40 hours, 50, I mean, who's the winner here? <gasps> Me. I found them. So yeah, this was an exciting little find. I was pretty shocked that they had them. And I'm all about that. So coconut macaroon. So that's it. This is a super random haul. I don't know how I spent 20 minutes talking about random ass crap, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up, uh, like video, subscribe, say hi in the comments. Um, and yeah, that's that. So this was fun. I will let you know. Um, I already can tell you that these guys burn great. I'll check in, let you know if this was just a dupe, if this burns as good as the Anthropology ones, or if this was just like a crap shoot. Um, crackling Woods, I'll keep posted on that. I may even burn that towards the end of August, because this is like an anytime scent. I love that kind of smoky scent. And then I will definitely keep you posted on the Pumpkin Patch from Sonoma Life and Style. I don't know when I'll get to burning this, but I will definitely let you know. I'm indifferent. I'll just let you know right now. I'm going in with low ass expectations, so we'll see. And then these, again, thank you to Because I Sent So for letting me know about these. Um, I'm sure they'll be great. She's pretty honest in her reviews. So I'm excited to check out these guys. I may burn the banana pudding soon. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.